Okay, next we're going to look at um, setting up our perspective view. So we're dropping a camera into our project and um, having a look at what that looks like in perspective. So in our view tab again, you've got 3D view here. Um, if the default 3D view, um, which you all are well aware of, is this axonometric view. So I'll just quickly show you this. this um, when we were, uh, the video we spoke about, um, uh, the view cube so that changes your um, your angle of how you're actually looking at your project and also with an axonometric parallel line view you're able to um, set the scales for when you drop it onto a sheet so that's one of the advantages there so if we close that and go back to our floor plan on 3d view here if we click camera so you can see now that I've got a little camera um, on the end of my mouse now what that means is that when I click once to place it, that's where the person would be standing to look, in, to look at the view. And then as I drag my mouse out, I can actually change where they're going to be looking at and how far the view range is going to be. So we'll try and get most of the house in this. And we'll drop that in. And then once you click for a second time, um, the view will automatically come up. So once we're in this view, we're able to actually pull pull the controls out a bit and have a look at that and um, you can see if you remember those tools if you don't like the angle of the house or something you're F8 or over here the steering wheel tools they bring up and we can sort of you know orbit it around until until we get something that you know of you that that, that we're happy with And once again, playing with your visibility settings down the bottom here, we're actually able to change, uh, you know, what the house looks like. So there's wireframe, shaded, realistic, etc. And we can also even drop some shadows on that to make it look a bit nicer. So um, yeah, that's setting up a camera. And if you go back to your ground floor view and you want to find where your camera is, so we'll just scroll down here to 3D views. You just right click and say show camera. And you can see then that's where your camera is. This is where your target is. And you're actually able to rotate that you know, from this position if you wish. Okay.